sometimes they're going to give you the uh, data uh, in a form of an XY table, but it would be the same thing as if they just gave you uh, however many ordered pairs are shown on the table. In this case, there's four ordered pairs. There's negative 3, 6, because here's the X value and there's the Y value. Negative 2, 0, 1, negative 1, excuse me, 1 and negative 18, and then 3 and negative 30. At this point, you should already be familiar uh, with the idea if I give you two ordered pairs, you should be able to find the slope and also be able to find the equation of the line that goes through these two points. But when you get over to these tables, it's the exact same idea, except for instead of giving you uh, two of them, they're giving you however many they're giving you, in this case, four of them. So if you didn't want to use these two points because they got negative numbers, you could always turn around and, um, well, if I can get my pages to stop jumping around there, you can always turn around and just choose two other different points. And in this case, let's use 3 and negative 30, and let's use uh, negative 2, 0. And uh, let's just go through and do that. So 0 minus negative 30 would go on top to find my slope. We should be familiar with that, y minus y. So this y minus that y. And now negative 2 minus 3. and we get positive 30 on top and negative 5 on the bottom, and that simplifies to negative 6. So our slope, or our m, is negative 6. So you choose any two points that you want here. Um, it doesn't matter which two that you choose. And then down here, let me extend this down just a little bit more. Down here, all you have to do is choose one point and use the m. So choose one point down here. and use it to plug in y minus y1 equals m parentheses x minus x1. This is our point slope form of the equation. And so now, um, after we plug that in, we can isolate it and get the y all by itself, and we'd have a very usable equation um, that would be the slope-intercept form. So let's go up here and let's choose another point. You could choose any of these four. Um, this is the smallest one, so I'll probably go with that one. Negative 2, 0 is my point I'm going to use. And our slope, we found out, was negative 6. So we plug all of this information in. So y minus 0 equals negative 6, parentheses, x minus negative 2. use the distribution with multiplication. Um, also, please remember that when you see an x minus negative 2, when you see that type of setup, it's um, changing it to a plus sign. So it's negative 6 times positive 2 is negative 12. And now, uh, if there was a, a number over here that you would need to get away from the y, if it was like a, a minus 1, we would add 1. Um, but in this case, it's 0, so it doesn't really do anything. So it's y equals 6x minus 12. And that is our equation. So just to recap, uh, when you're given an xy table, it's, it's basically uh, you're given a bunch of ordered pairs. You don't need to use them all. Um, they're just trying to overwhelm you with information. Choose two of the points. It doesn't matter which two. Define your slope. And once you found that slope, go back up there and choose one more point that's nice and easy to plug into this point slope form. Plug it into the y1 slot, the m slot, and the x1 slot, and use distribution to get rid of the parentheses first. That's very important. Use that first. Then you can uh, add or subtract whatever you need to uh, get rid of the, the constants that are sitting beside that y variable, and you're wound up with the, you wind up with the slope-intercept form of the equation.